The trailside transitional housing project on Highway 97 in Kelowna is now ready to start taking in its residents. And today, the media got a sneak peek. So we have a 60 unit building that we're going to be providing transitional housing supports to people who are formerly experiencing homelessness. So we're, we have individuals who are coming out of our shelters in Kelowna and we're providing a space for them to heal, work on their wellness and also work on any sort of barriers that they have to housing. So we'll be doing intensive case management here, helping people with anything from budgeting and saving to ensuring that they have access to all the income that they're entitled to, to getting part-time jobs, to whatever it is they need, finance, financial planning, um, working on their credit, a variety of different things that they might need to do in order to get um, ready for housing. So it's, it's truly designed to help people transition. This isn't a place for people to come and live out their days. No, and nor should it be. I mean, people don't have their own kitchens or own bathrooms. This is a stepping stone. So it's a spot for people to be where they have a safe space to be, a door that locks, their very own room, and they have access to an abundance of supports. So the other component that's really important is we do have care, a care program where we have LPNs and care aides that are going to be doing activity of daily living assessments with individuals and creating care planning for folks so that when they get into housing, the hope is that we're able to transition those care plans over to home care so that individuals can maintain their housing long term. So on the site you've set aside places for people to safely consume drugs or alcohol I suppose. Mm -hmm. I think there's some people in the community that don't like that. Uh, Tell us why that needs to be part of the package. It's really important to have overdose prevention spaces for people who are using substances. Basically, if we don't, if people aren't alive, they can't move into wellness. So we need to make sure that they're safe. Here we have clinically monitored substance consumption spaces um, and the rest of our spaces in our facility are wellness focused. Right. When you say wellness, that's a place where that is not permitted. Um, exactly. Because some people are trying to get away from it. Yeah, well, absolutely. I mean, we want a safe space for people to use substances, but we're not meaning to build a community of people who are using substances together. Yeah. So now that it's all together, it's 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 an intricate pattern of these units all kind yeah. of joined together. How does it feel? It feels really good. I mean, honestly, if you were here yesterday, it would have been, you would have been shocked at how much has come together even in the last 24 hours. Yeah. It feels really great. We're getting really close and it's exciting. And we're excited for the individuals that are going to be moving in here and um, going on the next step of their journey. And they've kind of clad the concrete at the front. Are mm -hmm. you kind of satisfied with how it, it looks? You know, some people said, oh, eyesore. Yeah, you know, I think that that was before we were done, right? So yeah. people see the, the trailers be put on site and nothing had to even be completed. And the reality is it's not even completed now. We're going to do beautification as we move forward. I mean, this has all happened in three months. Right. So um, we pride ourselves in being good neighbors and we want to create a nice space for the folks that we serve. So, And I'm not sure we covered that here, but this is for 55 plus. Correct. And people that have disabilities. Correct. So it's all wheelchair accessible and... Yeah, we've made it um, as accessible as we can. Um, we have a scooter parking space available for individuals that access the rail trail because we have quite a few seniors who utilize scooters. So they got all the plugs and we have widened hallways and, and an accessible bathroom. Terrific. Yeah. Thanks for this, yeah. Tara, and good luck. Thank you so much, Kent.